Hello, this is Julie from Bubble Glow's Class. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have a little um, gift box, lidded gift box. You just slip the lid off and pop your treats inside. It's a nice size when it's finished. The dimensions for this are two and a half inches by two and a half inches with a depth of one and a half. And I'm going to show you how to make this today. To do this, you will need to have a piece of coloured cardstock. I'm using Pear Bazaz, and this needs to measure five and a half inches by five and a half inches. You'll also need a piece of um, Whisper White, or you could choose your own colour for the lid, and this measures four and nine sixteenths by four and nine sixteenths. I'm now going to bring in my scoreboard. Um, and as always, don't worry about any of the sizes or the scoring. There will be a link below. Click on that and it will take you straight over to this project and all the details will be there. So with the base in your scoreboard, we need to score around at one and a half inches on all four sides. So just keep rotating your card and scoring at one and a half. And then bring in your lid. Uh, we need to score this time at one inches on all four sides. So again, making your score and rotating your card. That's all the scoring done. Pop this out of the way. Then come along with your bone folder and just burnish all of the score lines that you've just made. This to give a nice crisp box and A nice professional finish. Do the same with your lid. Okay. Then bring in your scissors and on your box you'll see you've got four squares in each corner and the score lines um, top and bottom. And we're just going to slip up these just to this score line that runs across here. So taking your scissors and following your score line to trim up. You can take a little notch out too and this will help to close the box up, keeping it all flush. Turning around and doing the same on the other side. Then we can come along and do exactly the same on the lid. Follow them score lines. Take a little notch. start putting the box together so with the base turning it over and all the little tabs that we've just made we're going to pop some adhesive on there I'm going to use snail today but you could use sticky strip or liquid glue so just pop your adhesive on all of these tabs and then bringing in your tab folding up the side and lining that all up and continue doing that all the way around your box. There we go, that's the base then completely done. Then we can take our lid, but before we put this together, we're going to pop our designer series paper on. And I'm using the painted blooms today. Um, very pretty and this needs to measure two and three eighths by two and three eighths so we can just use some adhesive onto the back and pop that into the centre of our lid then before we put it all together you'll notice on these ones that I've put in a little um, punch from the itty bitty accents um, so that you can see your coloured cardstock through the lid. So to do that, 
obviously taking your Itty Bitty Accents flower punch, just popping in your punch and just eyeballing it and centralising and just punch a little flower away and do that on all of your sides. Once that's done, again coming along with your adhesive, uh, on your little tabs, pop some more glue down and exactly the same as what we did with the base, we can then pop the lid together, bring it in the sides and do that all the way round. And that's the lid complete. We can slip that <coughs> over the box if I can get the lid on. There we go. Now we can go on and do the stamping. Um, and today I'm going to use the painted petal set and I'm going to use the You Are Amazingly, amazing, um, which I've already got prepared. And I'm going to use. Sahara Sand ink, so taking a piece of Scrap Whisper White, you can stamp one of these out. Oh, I might have done that over a bit, if I'll turn that over. There we go. And then using the large scallop oval, we can punch that out. I'm just taking a sponge and I'm just gently sponging all around the edges. There we go. And I'm then taking a piece of the matching cardstock for the base and punching out another large scallop oval and then we can pop this all together. So using some dimensionals onto the back of your sentiment. And then I'm just sort of lining it up, offsetting it so that you can see the pear pizzazz underneath your sentiment. And then taking another couple of sentiments onto the back, we can then stick this onto our box. I've then taken a little piece of chiffon ribbon, which I've already tied into a little bow, and using some glue dots, just pop a couple onto the back of your bow and then position this just up on the side stick that down and I'm then taking some of the basic pearls and obviously you can use whatever you'd like but I'm just going to pop one down the bottom and that is it a very cute sweet gift box and I do think the painted blooms it does really set it off I do like this so I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for joining me and I hope to speak to you again soon bye bye